You have for a long time been the chief strategy officer right. at PTC, and you recently got a title change to include sustainability. Tell me about that. Uh, both sustainability and marketing. Uh, so as part of my strategy remit, uh, I'm responsible for our environmental uh, sustainability strategy, both for PTC as a company, as well as our product and go-to-market strategy for our customers. So both, both parts of it. So just that little part of your story tells me that sustainability is now becoming a key part of strategy for many companies. Absolutely. You know, we've constantly talking to our customers and at last check, um, 87% of our customers are, have some form of sustainability goals. So it's a, mm -hmm. it's a top three criterion for our customers. Um, you know, if you think about our customers, they're all manufacturers uh, of physical goods. And, you know, topics like dematerialization, uh, energy consumption, and waste reduction are huge for them. The manufacturing sector alone accounts for, I believe, 54% of global energy consumption. So big issue for our customers. So take me under the hood. What does PTC offer sure. your customers to help them meet their ESG targets? Sure. So if you step back and say, what does PTC do? We help industrial companies and manufacturing companies design, engineer, manufacture, and service physical products. And we help them digitally transform the way they do that. So if you think about the product lifecycle, there are environmental uh, components that from way back up at design, if you design with sustainability in mind, and that's where uh, we have a, probably an accelerated push with our partnership with a priori, and with others like ANSYS to really help the designer and the engineer understand what they're trading off uh, way back up at design phase because just like cost, it's the decisions that are made in the design phase that impact the, the cost of the product, the, the carbon footprint of the product. So a bunch of effort there, but we actually think about it throughout the product life cycle. Um, so, you know, if you go from design then into operations, like uh, is there a more efficient way to produce uh, the product so that you're using uh, less energy? Um, do we have energy monitoring solutions that are built on our ThingWorks uh, products? So a bunch of partners have built on, on top of that. And then you go into the service, like so now the product is manufactured and it's out in the world. Uh, there's a lot from a carbon mm. footprint uh, there. So managing your spare parts. Like if you can produce less spare parts uh, and if you can place those spare parts as efficiently, as close to where the incident is going to occur, then you reduce embodied carbon, you in reduce the energy consumption to get from A to B. Uh, deploying service techs, like how the whole service process works. Like either a product uh, comes into a depot or we deploy people. Uh, so we have a lot of offerings there in terms of how to do that uh, as efficiently as possible. And then I'd say the last piece of the product life cycle is the whole circular notion. So when a product reaches its end of life, you know, we want to figure out are there ways to remanufacture? Are there ways to reuse? And in fact, recycling is almost the last priority. Again, that comes back to design. If you design in a modular way, you can disassemble in a modular way and then get as much reuse and remanufacture uh, uh, as possible and, and uh, recycle and then lastly throw something into a landfill. That should be the last resort. So we actually have, because the product is at the heart of our strategy, we're thinking about it throughout the product life cycle. A lot of manufacturers talk about end-to-end, -end, yep. um, but you've just talked about a lot more yep. than end-to-end. -end. So we often hear manufacturers say, oh, it's an end-to-end -end solution because it goes from design all the way to sourcing. Yep. That's really only two steps. That's, you yep. know, or it's an end-to-end -end yep. because, you know, oh, it goes to we are tracking it from design to customer delivery, but that doesn't account for That's the... Right disposal of the product. So you're really taking an uh, entire journey That's of right. product and integrating it together. Yeah. I mean, the core of the company started 
with 3D design. So the actual, you know, you hear a lot of people these days talk about the model-based enterprise. Well, that starts with a 3D model. Uh, it's kind of shocking to know that a lot of folks that have used 3D up in the design phase, they used it more as a efficiency tool for designing, um, but we're not using some of the rich content from that model down into manufacturing and, and into service. And so we're seeing a lot happen there and that will also help with sustainability initiatives because data will flow uh, a lot smoother into the downstream processes. Um, so yeah, so our whole company, you know, we talk about, like many companies talk about a digital thread, we talk about model-based closed loop digital thread throughout the product life cycle. Um, it's a big strategy um, and we're filling out various components um, and working with partners like yourselves uh, to really enhance what, so we can meet the customer where they are. We've always had an integration between um, Creo, our CAD tool, and, and PLM, our windshield, our, our tool with a priori. Um, one place where our customers can do a bill of material or a bomb roll-up and <laughs> capture all that carbon information. So a priori is a great source of that. Um, we also have material information coming from maybe raw material information coming from Granta and just putting all of that in the bill of material. So sustainability is the latest kind of impetus to further the, the partnership. But I think the three things that a priori does, you know, cost, um, design for manufacturability mm -hmm. and sustainability, they all play into this trade-off analysis that we want yeah. uh, designers to do. Um, and so therefore make better design decisions that leads to more sustainable designs. Mm -hmm.